Developing this morning, the measles scare could soon affect one of the world's largest companies. California health officials say a person with the infection visited Google's headquarters in Silicon Valley. Two more cases were confirmed yesterday. As of last week, 555 cases of measles have been confirmed in 20 states. Numbers expected to be even higher when the latest numbers are released. The outbreak has gone international. A flight attendant for Israel's national airline, El Al, is in a coma after she came in contact with an infected passenger on a flight from New York. Health workers don't think the flight attendant spread the virus any further. Taking a look at Florida and Georgia, there have been one confirmed case. There has been one confirmed case here in Florida and then three in Georgia. Those numbers seem small. Health officials identified dozens of people, though, in each of these cases who had possible exposure. News for Jack's reporter Jennifer Reddy joins us live this morning. And Jen, this highlights the need to get vaccinated. Good morning. It certainly does. Right now, the CDC is monitoring six outbreaks, none of which are here in Florida and Georgia. But they say these outbreaks are tied to people who were traveling in countries where the measles is very common and bringing it back here to the United States. In hospitals across the country, doctors are treating more cases of the measles. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 555 cases have been reported nationwide so far this year, spanning 20 states. That's more than 2017 and 2018 combined, and the second highest number of reported cases in more than two decades. In Florida, one case was reported this year in Broward County and three in Georgia. None of the patients were vaccinated. Measles and chickenpox are probably the two most infectious communicable diseases. Dr. Brian Cooper saw several cases of the measles during an outbreak in the Northeast during the 1980s. He says the disease is highly contagious, spread easily by coughing or sneezing, and causing common symptoms like a runny nose, cough, and fever followed by a rash on the entire body. A case of measles will infect 90% of the unvaccinated people that uh, they come in contact with. Dr. Cooper says the best way to protect yourself is to get vaccinated. To give you an idea of just how contagious the measles is, if I were infected with the measles and I was in one room at the end of a hallway, doctors say a person who was unvaccinated in a separate room at the other end of the hallway could become infected with the measles because it does travel through the air and stays there for several hours. Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, The Local Station.